Hello there, I'm Andy Sanderson. This is Ruby. It's her first appearance since she stormed into first place at last Sunday's Barmouth RNLI dog show competition when she got a first for the waggiest tail. Well done, Rube. It's a bit hot for her today, though. I'm here now to show you over number one, Glanners Gethin. As you can see, it's a fantastic situation. You're just at the entrance to the development, one of the best spots here. At the end of the road, you've got the sea. Just on the other side of the road here, there's a walkway that takes you down to the riverside for some lovely strolls. So stay with me and I'll show you around. <laughs> Ruby's having a nice drink of water here. As you can see, there's plenty of room on this driveway for parking several vehicles. But one of the only drawbacks about this place is that there isn't a garage. But having said that, it's a really level location. And if you're looking for tranquility, then just hear what's going on around me, really. A few birds, I can even hear Ruby slurping away. It's so quiet and peaceful here. The sunshine comes round in the east, goes all the way around here. This time of year, sets right over there so you get sun all day. There's other good things, like there's a concealed LPG gas cylinder in the flower bed over there, so that's all out the way and convenient. There's UPVC double glazing, it's got a conservatory added on the back. There's even an ensuite shower room here, but you wait till we see the back garden. As we come into the entrance hall through the front door here, the lounge dining room is over on our left. There's loads of room in here for a dining table and over in the lounge area there's a fabulous outlook through the sliding doors to the back garden. No matter how much you like gas-fired central heating by radiators, having a fireplace really gives a focal point for the home. Now I'm not particularly big on cupboards myself but I know people really look out for them. In here there's one store cupboard this side. This other side is the airing cupboard for all your linen and things. And then it's really practical design in this bungalow. We go through this way, which takes us into the kitchen breakfast room. You can see there's plenty of room to eat in here. There's just a table for two at the moment, but it's really well fitted out with all these units. I've almost lost count of all the appliances in here. You've got electric Siemens hob. You've got Siemens oven here, hood over the top. Over here, there's a Smeg automatic dishwasher, and then also you've got an integrated fridge and a deep freezer in here, which again is another Bosch appliance. So it's all good quality stuff here. This is the colorful outlook to the rear garden from the kitchen sink, but the kitchen is also supplemented by this utility room on the side where you can put your washing machine. That's also where the gas combination boiler is. You go through the utility room and that takes you to this really good conservatory. There's a radiator in here and lighting as well. And it's got a lovely outlook to the garden with those French windows to get you out onto the patio as well. So there's really an abundance of living space in this bungalow. Now, just because there's plenty of living space doesn't mean to say you're going to be tight for bedroom space either. This is the main bedroom and as you can see, it's been really well fitted out with all these dresser units, wardrobe units, bedside units and high level storage as well. And on top of that, there's also an ensuite shower room in here too. In addition to the main bedroom, there's two more separate bedrooms here, both with space for double beds in them. This one on the right here is currently used as a study stroke sitting room. It's really easy to see why with that view of the sea in the distance there. I bet you there's some marvellous sunsets here at the end of the summer. This is the main bathroom. There's a shower attachment over the bath, tiled walls and tiled floor as well. Back outside here, there's a side gate which you can get to the back garden through. There's some lovely stonework that's uh, part of the landscape in the garden here. It's half past 11 now, so the sun's coming over the roof and it's going to go round to the west, so that you're going to get more and more sun throughout the afternoon now. Listen, it's so beautifully quiet here. The other thing is, I can look all around me and all I can see is lush green vegetation and screening. Can't see anybody else's windows, so I'm totally private. The garden here probably extends roughly 30 metres up here. It's nicely lawned, screen borders either side, and there's a great summer house at the top here.
Well, I think it's the perfect finishing shot for this tour around one Glanners Gethin. If you'd like a video like this for your own property, or you'd like to book up a viewing appointment so I can show you around in person, that'd be great to hear from you. Call me on the usual number, that's 01341 281 599. And in the meantime, if you want to keep track of all the new videos and new properties that we've got coming on our books, please subscribe to Sanderson Estate Agent's YouTube channel and click the little bell icon as well to get notifications and you should be updated pretty promptly in advance of a lot of other people. So thanks very much for watching from myself and Ruby. We hope to see you up here soon and let's hope it is as sunny as this. Mm -hmm.